So just wanted to shoot a quick scene here on uh, the LS engine for Project Turbo LS, the Ford that we're building. Uh, I'm not sure how this camera thing is going to work because i got a remote here. So basically what we're going to do today is we're just going to, uh, I want to put a pressure gauge on my fuel rail so I know that I have 43 PSI minimum at the fuel rails when I'm looking in the engine compartment or 58, whatever, whatever injectors you're using. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to take the, sh this the Schrader valve here and all your injection, well the factory rails, they have a screw on cap like this. So what you want to do is take this off. Then you just get your Schrader valve wrench right here. because That's what this is in here. And you basically just go in here and you just kind of turn, I really loosened it so that's why I can just do it by hand. You turn out your Schrader valve internals. Because if you didn't take this out and you put a pressure gauge on there, it wouldn't have any reading. So we're just going to take the uh, the internals out using a uh, Schrader valve wrench. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but but anyways, so I just turned out the internals from that. So what we're going to do is we're going to. I got this uh, from BMS Racing. It's basically a pressure gauge goes up to 100 psi. I think it was a. Yeah, about 100 PSI, and we're going to put this on that fitting there from VMS Racing. I think I paid $29 for this. And we're going to put our thread sealing paste on there. This is good for high pressure and fuel. And the Just so there's no leaks. So we got a 90 degree fitting they gave us here, so we'll, put, we'll thread that on first. It'd be nice if it would fit, but actually, it would fit on this one. Do that. Yeah, actually, sorry, this, this piece here goes on first. So. And then our 90 degree. Snug this guy down here. We'll put a little bit of paste on our 90 degree here. This goes on here. So. You want to kind of rotate it towards at an angle that where you can see the gauge clearly. You want to make sure that this is really sealed really well because if you don't want to have any leaks on your intake going on to your hot exhaust manifold, because that's uh, you're gonna have a fire. That'll be good. A little more paste on our uh, threads here. This is high temperature, high pressure thread sealing paste, by the way. Just going to screw this guy on. Let's get it exactly parallel. And this goes in here like so. So now we can see what the pressure at our fuel rail is. We're just doing this kind of tight.
And then we pressurize everything up, and make sure there's no leaks. And if there is, we're probably gonna have to either put some Teflon tape here, or yeah, Teflon tape will probably do it. But right now we just got paste. Everything is snug. And we've got this rotated where we can see it. Again, this is uh, from VMS Racing, $29.99 for the, for the gauge and the fitting and the 90 degree elbow. 100 PSI so we can see what we got in the rails. When you pressure up the fuel system, we make sure we have a minimum of 43 for our injectors. And uh, yeah, so we, as long as we have pressure at the rails, we can verify that everything's working with the fuel system, fuel pump, etc. And then uh, when we hook up the uh, Terminator X Max, we can verify we have fuel pressure and then uh, hopefully a successful start. So, again, guys, here's a shot close up of the uh, fuel pressure gauge with a fitting and then the 90 degree elbow fitting that's attached to the uh, factory fuel rail. And again, this is a factory truck intake. Well, this whole engine is a six liter from a truck, as you guys can see. So I just wanted to see how cheap I could do this uh, turbocharge going into that Ford right there, Fox Body 1980 Thunderbird. Uh, so I plan on using these factory fuel rails, see if they can keep up with our uh, in the box there, our 76, uh, 75 turbo on three with a billet uh, wheel. So we'll see if this, uh, this setup can keep up because this is one of the early style trucks and it's still got an actual factory fuel pressure regulator. So as the boost comes in on the intake, it uh, enriches or increases fuel pressure one to one. So basically the, the objective here is to make sure we have at least 58 PSI before we start this guy up and then uh, we can we can watch our fuel pressure as the boost comes in on our Terminator X Max screen and if that increases that means that this factory setup actually works and then we have to keep an eye on our air fuel ratios so we're not going lean so if we're going lean this regulator might be not not be enriching or supplying enough pressurized fuel as the boost comes in so that might be a problem here because it's just a small little factory regulator but we will see because I just wanted to see if I could make everything work using the factory setup. So maybe somebody else that's doing the same thing can come in and, and copy this and uh, save a little bit of money just using factory parts. So again, yep, so that's all I did here. Again, took the Schrader valve out of the factory rail and put our pressure gauge in. So that's 100 PSI from VMS Racing. So that concludes another video guys, thanks for watching, we just installed that pressure gauge on the fuel rail and uh, yeah we'll uh, hopefully continue work on the uh, T-Bird there, I plan on uh, putting the uh, rear end in before I go to Vegas here shortly. So uh, again, thanks for watching, hope you learned something.